Greetings. This presentation is brought to you by the PJS design team in which a proposal will be discussed that explores a communication life skills course for youth. Youth are often not equipped with knowledge and skills that can support a more fruitful and productive yet less stressful transition to independent living. There are a variety of reasons this does not occur, such as assuming youth will acquire these skills from their home life, current programs don't offer accessible anti-oppressive learning experience, and there lacks an adaptive option, providing an independent, personalized experience that addresses all learners' needs. There is a need for an anti-oppressive and adaptive learning solution to empower youth in developing life skills in areas such as basic cooking, time management, professional endeavors, daily care, and communication. Upon completion of this course, youth will be empowered with knowledge and skills to support a more comfortable and confident transition towards independent living. The first module to be delivered will be communication skills. To develop the proposal for this course, our team utilized a multi-step brainstorming process. In the first step, each team member individually brainstormed ideas on elements of the course. The second step involved individually developing a brainstorming map of ideas that included the approach to the course, learning technology and platforms, activities, and potential lessons. Once the first two steps were completed individually, they were reviewed by other team members independently. The third step consisted of collaborative brainstorming sessions over two conference calls where there was a group review of brainstorming ideas and maps. During these sessions, the group came to a consensus on this proposal. The benefits of our approach are there was a rapid development of ideas, creativeness, and process flows as well as quicker team solutions determined due to group collaboration during conference calls. There was a challenge that mapping was not the tool of choice for all members to develop the proposal. This was resolved by agreement for creative freedom and personal preference as long as all of the components were addressed. There was also an issue that not all group members preferred or were able to provide immediate feedback and decisions due to lack of information or more time needed to review the materials which was resolved by continued communication by email and setting up another conference call to address remaining issues. The lesson learned was to create a brainstorm map template for team members to fill in. Through our brainstorming and collaboration sessions, we have agreed on the following proposed solution. The PJS design difference will include the following components. The overall goals of the module are to develop knowledge of effective communication and prepare youth to apply techniques that promote effective, engaged, and professional communication. At the end of this module, learners will understand and apply knowledge of communication processes, develop knowledge, skills, and judgment regarding communication, and develop a framework for the critical analysis of different messages. Competencies include that the learner understand the role of communication for personal and professional success and utilize best practices to create a personalized communication reputation. To develop this module, we propose utilizing the adaptive software SmartSparrow. This will allow us to provide tailored learning experiences for each student based on their prior knowledge and needs. To meet the goal of supporting emotional, mental, and physical well-being, prior to engaging in the learning content, students will take a safety screening assessment to ensure they are in a safe space to engage in the course and provide support resources. Next, students will take a pre-assessment on a variety of questions regarding the communications topics covered in the module. Based on the results of the pre-assessment, students will receive recommendations on where to start in the course and areas to concentrate on. Each lesson will be broken into micro-learning segments to allow students to work through content in bite-sized pieces. The content will have a focus on techniques and behaviors young people can implement to improve their communication. To create interest in the content, we will utilize a variety of media including social images, video, and activities with gamification elements. 
A variety of assessments will be utilized in this module in addition to the safety screening and pre-assessment. Knowledge check activities such as multiple choice and matching activities will evaluate if students have acquired the foundational knowledge of each topic and allow for additional adaptability. There's a challenge in creating an opportunity for learners to apply and receive feedback on their communication skills in a fully independent online course. To address this challenge, self-reflection activities will be included that provide prompts for students to reflect upon what they have learned and describe how they have applied it in interactions with others. These self-reflections will be utilized in a final summative assessment in which students create a portfolio that covers what they have learned and how they have modified their communication. In addition, our implementation plan will include resources for organization leaders to facilitate discussions on the self-reflection activities, providing further opportunity for students to demonstrate the skills they are learning and receive feedback. The PJS Design Team Solution addresses the problems with current programs and trainings and fills in the gap by creating a comprehensive, independent learning experience that is adaptive and anti-oppressive for all learners. In order to accomplish an adaptive learning experience, the design team will use Smart Sparrow as a learning platform so that learners will have multiple means of technology access, such as by phones, tablets, and computers. In addition, the learning platform will be utilized to conduct a safety screening that will track learners in need to support and resources, as well as pretests that will recommend to learners the appropriate lesson based on current skill and ability level, though all learners have the option to complete all lessons. In order to accomplish an anti-oppressive learning experience, the design team will actively and intentionally challenge all social injustice provide a personalized lesson that allows the learner to incorporate multicultural perspectives, is completely accessible, uses engaging multimodal learning activities, and provides safe space support and resources. The purpose of this presentation was to provide a life skills course proposal on communication for youth that ensures a learning experience for all learners. Thank you for your time. This concludes the communication course proposal presentation. We welcome all questions, comments, and feedback.